let's start off with Combo Breaker, shall we? Combo Breaker, which is happening later this month, will be there. Will be there. Uh, has been uh, has been breaking some uh, has been breaking some records, and Rick has been has been going off on Twitter. And shout outs to him. Uh, you know, he's somebody that you know works so uh, works so hard for us in the FGC. So it's nice to see. The fruits of his labor and him being excited about stuff. First, it started with this. Whoops. There we are. Milestone passed. Combo Breaker 2023 will be hosting the largest Tekken 7 tournament in our event's history. From shipping arcade boards across the country with Markman and company to now hosting this gigantic bracket for the Tekken World Tour has been an incredible journey. Turns out if you tell people to sign up for Tekken and give them the chance to play Tekken 8, people will sign up for Tekken. Also, that's not to discredit all the hard work that Rick and company do. The Tekken tournaments at Combo Break are always fun. I signed up for it. I can't wait to go play. I've been practicing my Leroy. People are about to get that work. Immediately after that, Strive is once again in the four-figure club, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the first time an anime game has been in the four-figure club the year after it's released. So big ups to Strive, over a thousand entrants. Next, the largest Skullgirls bracket Combo Breaker has ever hosted. The largest bracket in the Midwest for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Grand Blue vs. growing from last year. And VSAV being one player away from setting an all-time record. And spoiler alert, they broke it. New Combo Breaker VSAV attendance record has been reached. So everybody, much to, like Rick is saying, please take a moment to thank Vampire Arcadia because their endless championing of this game and their efforts to build a rally point for it at Combo Breaker events has made it possible. And thank goodness because VSAV is so much fun to watch and I cannot wait to see all this crazy stuff happening at Combo Breaker. We're going to be there. I'm in talks with Rick. It's looking like we're, we're going to have another episode of Combo Breaker, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, and like Steve is saying in the chat, between the official tourneys and side events, they're running a total of 16 streams, to which Rick's response is, this is not sustainable. Please buy a hoodie. So if you have the means, go buy yourself a Combo Breaker hoodie. <laughs> Help Rick out, will you? <laughs> um, Anyway, so those are the numbers we're getting from CE, uh, from Combo Breaker. I'm excited. Combo Breaker is about three weeks away. I just bought my flights, so boo for spending money. Hooray for getting to fly. And I used some of the tips that Yohosi had in one of her videos about uh, using credit cards. So shout-outs to, shout to her for making good content, uh, especially helping people travel. Now, we're going to skip the CEO stuff because we're going we're gonna to talk about that with Yohosi later. Let's get to Street Fighter VI. Now, for those of you that missed out, uh, last week, or actually the beginning of this week, there were rumblings of something being released, right? Something was going to be released. Uh, there was a tweet that Nakayama-san wrote saying, please wait five days towards somebody asking something about JP and how they played. What else could they possibly show at this point, right? I think it was in one of our morning streams. For those of you that don't know, we started streaming in the mornings at 9.30 a.m. What else could they possibly show, right? Because they had the Street Fighter VI showcase with your boy Wheezy, uh, where they showed the uh, World Tour mode. They showed a little bit of the fighting grounds. They showed a little bit of the battle hub, all that other stuff. And then what is there left for us to see, right? It feels like they ran out of marketing stuff. And this is the point where marketing has to ramp up for a game because it's coming out in less than a month at this point. So I think we were all expecting a lot of marketing, but there has been a little bit of silence after that. And all of a sudden, the embargo was lifted. I just punched the shit out of my mixer. The embargo was lifted, and we get a ton of gameplay footage. Uh, Shout outs to everybody. You know, shout outs to Giuna, first of all, for saying what we all had in mind, where he wrote a tweet that was like, I love that it's happening to other people, but it still should have happened to me. Uh, I'm sad I didn't get the secret look into Street Fighter Six. However, uh, a lot of the a lot of uh, the bigger content creators like Maximilian, Sejam, 
the usual, uh, along with a big European representative representation with rival uh, reversal. Sorry, reversal.gg. Uh, they've been cracking away at content making for the FGC for a hot minute now, and they're doing a great job. Uh, speaking of, here's some of their video. Uh, we got a lot of match footage. There was a supervised 90 minute play session per person where they were allowed to play world tour mode. They were allowed to do cami combo trials. They were allowed to play versus each other. And they were allowed to do, uh, like they were allowed to explore some of the, uh, what do you call it? The, some of the like character st uh, strategy tutorials, uh, along with getting to grind out and train out on some characters. So, Big ups to Capcom for letting people do their thing and giving us more stuff to digest because it's been fun watching a lot of these matches and a lot of this information coming out via our uh, content creators. Boo on Capcom for not inviting me, damn it. Get me in there. Fucking Capcom. Um, all this to say, there's still, what, like three weeks, four weeks? Let's see, one, two, three, four weeks until the faded weekend of Street Fighter VI's reveal, uh, not reveal, release. And now I don't know what they're going to, you know, like I was kind of expecting a beta this weekend based on like some of the Twitter, 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 Twitter exchanges. Uh, but it all boiled down to nothing. And that's what I get for going off of other people's breadcrumbs. I got to go off of my own breadcrumbs. Uh but we'll see what happens. We still have a month. I'm assuming there's still going to be something released here or there. I don't know. Uh, maybe there will be something at Combo Breaker. I, that's the only thing I could think of where they might have something there. Because uh, I, I know they will be having a Tekken, the Tekken 8 Alpha at Combo Breaker. So I wonder if Street Fighter 6 is also going to make an appearance there. Who knows? But anyway, we're, we're close. We're finally getting to the game that's going to save the FGC. Or so everyone says. But here's hoping, you know. Here's hoping.